Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka the D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. Let me put that right there. Uh, went by uh, Walgreens again, picked up a few more of these 100 card plus one pack, and I had a blast opening up these the other day at my local Walmart, uh, Walgreens, excuse me. They're only um, $4.99 each, so I was like, yeah, go ahead and pick up a few more of these fun to collect the old cards and who knows what you might find in it again i've heard there's potential for the harper rookie and uh trout rookie which i would i'd flip out if i got a trout rookie harper nights not so much it's not a fan of them but they also had these right here and i figured i'll pick up one of these these were 9.99 um i went last week and they said 19.99 i'm like yeah i'm definitely gonna pass on that for 20 bucks so I went ahead and picked up this. So let's bust into them. We're going to start off with this one. And I grabbed this one just because we got uh, Jacob DeGrom. Uh, probably my favorite current New York Met. So I went and picked that one up. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Very excited about this. Uh, it looks like a Topps Big Pack. I remember when those came out back in, gosh, I think 88, 89, something like that. I really, really, really like them. Uh, this is the Series 3. Let's see, what year was it that these came out? Does it say on the back? Uh, 1988. Uh, actually, I bought, back in the day, I had all three series of them. So that would that would give you an idea of how much I liked them, and this is uh, the Jacob DeGrom All Star Game. Uh, don't be blurry on me. Don't be blurry on me. Here we go. Uh, this is from the Update series. So there you go. Uh, number one seventy seven from the Update series. All right, let's see what we got in here. Let's flip these around and we'll start with this stack of them here. All right. And a checklist, uh, a checklist, which is eh, yeah, kind of useless. Charlie Morton. What year is this? 2016. I don't even know what rookies would be in 16. Giancarlo Stanton. Now with the Yankees, boo. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Yankees fans. I thought that was the same guy for a second. <laughs> uh, John Lester, Ron Darling from my New York Mets. Now some older cards, Burt Blylevin, Rick Honeycutt. Who is this? Uh, Trip Comer. I, I don't even remember him. Uh, let's see. Uh, Don Russ Elite. I remember when these come out, they were so hot back in the day when they first come out. Golly. Uh, back to some old cars from the 80s. Matt Kane threw a no-hitter. Marty Barrett. Uh, he was very good for the, the Red Sox for a while. Uh, I remember the 86 World Series. He had a solid World Series that year against my New York Mets, and my Mets somehow got lucky and won. Uh, Garrett Anderson, solid career. Uh, Pro Six, is this an actual signature? Uh, I, don't, I would say probably not. Could be, but I don't think that's a signature. I want to set that aside just in case. I'm pretty sure it's not, though. I, I don't remember those. I do remember Barry Zito. Very good ball player back in the day. Rookie class. Uh, let's see, who are these guys? Uh, Bob Wolcott and Jimmy Hayes. Don't remember either one of those. Travis Fryman. Uh, when he first come up, solid ball player for the Tigers. Uh, everybody thought he was going to be one of the next big things. And this is actually his top straight at rookie card. Back in the day, that would have probably been uh, a couple of dollars at least. Now, probably not. <laughs> 
original 1989 upper deck I sure wish that was a Griffey <laughs> okay the reason I laugh at this uh, one of the guys on here <clears throat> they kind of got me motivated to start collecting again Jabs family uh, John Wathen is kind of their kryptonite he seems to find his way in just about everything they get that's hilarious John Wathen Jabs family shout out to you guys awesome channel uh, Cecil Fielder, I remember when he hit 50 home runs. Uh, his son had a solid career as well. Ron Oster, he was one of my friends, I think favorite players back in the day. Is this Sport Flicks? Sport Flicks! <laughs> Gary Sheffield Sports Flicks. Uh, they don't do, seem to be doing, there goes the flipping, there it is. Remember when they first come out, I think in 88, I believe. Uh, Tim Costo, do not remember you, buddy. Let's see. Uh, Don Russ, who is that? Gosh. Jose Lima. I gotta remember Jose a little bit. Another Sheffield back when he played for the uh, Marlins. Andre Hulk Dawson, a uh, Hall of Famer. I remember that year he hit 49 home runs for the Cubs. I think they still finished in last place. Hey, a football player found his way into the uh, the baseball pack. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, as Drubal Cabrera, as Drubal Cabrera, I uh, just saw him when I went to the Mets versus Nationals game. He was a Met for a little bit. Jack Morris, Hall of Fame. Earl Cunningham. I don't believe he ever really did much. Another football player's made his way into the baseball. Is that Jim Everett? Yep, Jim Everett. It's weird. That is weird. Two football players in here. Ken Caminiti. I remember he was an MVP. Uh, Daryl Hamilton. I remember him. Eh, didn't have much of a career. Weird. Two football players made their way into these. All right. Ah, uh, Blackjack McDowell. Remember, he won the Cy Young Award. He's a solid pitcher for a little while. Who are you? That is another Sheffield. I thought it was Sheffield. The crime dog, Fred McGriff. Treadway, uh, Musselman, no good, Tim Belcher, uh, old 1981, uh, I think it is, isn't that 81? Yep, 81 tops. Scott Cooper, I remember he played uh, here in Lynchburg in the minor leagues, had a solid year. Uh, he, he had a couple of okay years on in the majors, nothing too great. Mike Jackson. Let's see here. Max Scherzer, um, just one of the best pitchers in baseball. Definitely one of the best. Definitely, definitely top tier. Uh, I was sitting right behind home plate, and you could see his curveball. It looked like it was breaking about three feet. It was a thing of beauty. Uh, Wilson Ramos. Uh, Patrick Corbin, who was having a really, really good year. Oh, uh, oh, wow, he's been around a lot longer than I thought, Corbin. Uh, Grundell. Pete Rose, uh, one of those, back in the, in the 80s and 90s, they had a ton of the limited edition series. They usually had about um, 30 cards in the set. Does it actually say 44 in this particular one? Every once in a while, you'd have fi find one with about 50 cards in the set. Tons of these little box sets. Different companies had them. I remember Kmart was one that had a bunch of them. Uh, many different companies. It was it was crazy back in the day. Everybody was in on the card business. Uh, Darren Erstead. He had a few really really good years. Also, he was a uh, played college football. I believe he was a quarterback for Nebraska. Or I'm, I'm pretty sure he played for Nebraska. In my mind, I'm thinking quarterback. I might be wrong on that. Uh, Jose Gonzalez, no, Juan Gonzalez, not Jose, Juan Gonzalez. Heck of a player Juan was, very, very good. 
Uh, Jay Buhner, solid career for him. And another one of those, Dale Murphy. Diamond Kings. Uh, growing up, I loved these Diamond King cards. I was trying to get all of them from all the years. Uh, this is 1984, and I probably do not have this one. They would put uh, one Diamond King for from each team every season. I, I might not have this from 1984. I know I had 85 uh, up to about 90, or, or maybe slightly after that. Pete Smith. Uh, Cliff Floyd, uh, Team Checklist. I remember when he first come up, he was he was hot back in the day. People were all about his cars. Dave Parker, the Cobra. Another one back to back, back to back to back to back. Four straight, four straight uh, cards with with Dave Parker on them. How about that? How about that? Had a great career. I'm really kind of surprised he didn't make it to the Hall of Fame. Very, very good player. Ryan Klesko. A couple of Ryan Kleskos. He had a solid start to his uh, his career, and it kind of fizzled out. Hubie Brooks had a few good years. Randy Reddy did not have any good years. All right, how about that? I was just saying Kmart had some of these cards, and how about that? Uh, Kmart. Is it 33 cards? Uh, this is number 13. It doesn't say... But my guess is they probably had 33 cards in the set. I remember those when they, they all come out back in the day. All right, let's see here. Frank Viola. Uh, I know he was a Cy Young Award winner for the Twins back in the day. Kevin Elster, another player I got to see here in Lynchburg. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Which I'm, I'm still kind of surprised he made it to the Hall. I thought he had a really good career. I just didn't think it was a Hall of Fame career. Uh, A.J. Pollock. Was this a minor? Yep, minor league card. Gavin Floyd, 1984. Another Gavin Floyd. Three Gavin Floyds. Three Gavin Floyds. Sorry, Gavin. I, I don't know who you are. Uh, what do you got here? Another Ryan Klesko. So, uh, Nathan Avaldi. And who is that? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> it's a couple of the All Star cards. And the Nationals, Mark Trumbo, he had a couple good years. I remember he had that year he had, did he have 50 home runs a couple years ago? Then he signed a big contract and. We really haven't seen a ton from him since with the uh, Orioles. Oh, you know what? I didn't open the big pack. This is one that's might have a, a Hall of Famer in here, but that's about it. Uh, I really liked it when they first come out, but I really quickly started not liking them because there was nothing you could put them in. John Shelby, Mark Gubixa, Hall of Famer Ozzy Smith, Sid Bream, who had a, a few good years, uh, Andy Allenson, Raphael Santana, and Tony Fernandez. Eh, meh. All right, this next one we have Jake Arietta on the front. I'll be honest, the only reason I bought this one because it was the last one on the shelf. <laughs> we got in here uh, looks like a Fleer 1990 Fleer uh, let's see I'm trying to think who, who's good in that year I don't really think there was much I know we had the the second year of Griffey some Hall of Famers in there but I don't think it's much great in that year uh, Chili Davis Mark Davis not no relation <laughs> uh, there's that Arietta. Yeah. Ah, uh, Cespedes. I know when he he got traded to the Mets, I was really excited, and that didn't work out so well for us. 
All-Star Game, Chris Davis. My brother's a huge Orioles fan. And he was so excited when Davis re-signed. And gosh, he's just falling off the face of the earth. He had 47 home runs one year, 53 one year. And then he just forgot how to hit. <laughs> Terry Schumpert. Uh, nothing good there. Ah, oh, we're going to the original. No, this might be the second year. No, this was the, I think this was the second year. I think 86 was the first year for the Sport Flicks. This is Tim Wallach. This is the 87. The reason I know the difference is just because they put a border around the 87s, and you can't really see the, the flicking too well on there, but it, it does change. 86 did have a Conseco in it. I do remember that. Ah, cool. 1985 Don Russ. Uh, Day Smith, Odell Jones, Russell. Back to back Russells. <laughs> when I first saw that, I thought it was uh, Greg Maddox, but it's not. It's a left handed version. He did play a long, long time. Jamie Moyer. Uh, another Cliff Floyd. Joe Carter, who hit that uh, miraculous home run off of Mike Williams to win the. Uh, the World Series one year. Cito Gaston. This is from the 89 top straight. Yeah, 89 top straight. And this is the FLIR update from 1986. Ah, Javi Lopez. I think that might be his rookie card there. Javi had a very good career. Not, I mean, not a, like Hall of Fame career, but a very good career. Tim Belcher, Eric Yelding. Ah, let's go ahead and turn him around now. Who was that for my Mets? I don't remember him. Bob Horner. I know a lot of people have no idea who Bob Horner is. He had a four home run game. Uh, he went not long after that. He ended up in Japan, and he was a monster in Japan. I remember when he played for the, for the Braves, he was... He just looked like he was bored all the time, yet still had some miraculous just power, just insane power. Jerome Walton, uh, that's that card right there. Jerome Walton back when it first came out. This is the uh, 89. I had to look again. <laughs> 89 uh, upper deck, not upper deck, update. Uh, Top traded, excuse me. Top traded. This was a very valuable card when it first came out. Huge. Everybody wanted Jerome Walton's card. Ah, uh, Giamani before a uh, commissioner who banned Pete Rose. Howard Johnson, is that after he had his 30-30 season? Uh, no, it isn't. I think he had the 30-30 season in uh, 87 or 88. 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases for my Mets. Alright, let's see what we got here. Some rookie cards or something. Scott Casimir. Everybody thought he was gonna have a good, uh, good career. He didn't. Uh, Chris Sale, very good pitcher, is on the disabled list. And this other stack of these eh, doesn't appear to be too much going on with these. Eric Davis. He started out his career on fire, and then just unfortunately kind of went away. Let's see, who is that? Gabe White, Darren Jackson, he was okay for a couple years. Dave Stewart had a great career, not a great career, a really good career. Biggest thing I really remember about him is uh, when they had the World Series, uh, I can't remember what the name of it was called, uh, San Francisco versus Oakland, they had that big earthquake. Uh, he went down to where they had the interstate, had, had fallen apart. During that earthquake, he was. They said he was down there almost every day, uh, bringing food, bringing water, doing anything he could to help them. Uh, during that time, it was a tough time. I still remember when they had that that earthquake happen. It was, man, it was it was scary. Harold Baines, Andy Bennis. Remember, I thought he was going to be really good. 
Uh, Brooks Kishnick. I, everybody thought he was going to be good, and I know I mispronounced his name. <laughs> Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Alan Trammell, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Brent Gates, not so much. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, Eduardo Perez. I get to hear him on TV a lot. There's another Andy Bennis. That's that top prospect. Everybody thought he was going to be good. And again, not so much. Decker, another Dave Stewart. Willie Hernandez was a Cy Young winner. I can't remember if he was the MVP in 1983 also. That was a Cy Young winner. Uh, let's see, which Met is that? Brett Saberhagen. Yeah, we tried. My Mets tried to buy a World Series, and we couldn't do it. We tried. Jim Tomey. Uh, I believe he had a Hall of Fame career, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Troy Percival. Uh, Goose Gossage. I uh, remember back in the 80s, that guy was terrifying. I wasn't even at the stadium, and he scared me. <laughs> Rick Russell. Billy Ripken, famous for his, one of his cards with uh, some profanity on it. Greg Brock, Vince Coleman, uh, back when people stole bases. Remember, he stole a hundred and a hundred and something stolen bases that one year. Uh, I just know he had over a hundred stolen bases a couple years. Uh, Cole Hamels had that one good year. Maybe a couple of them. I might be exaggerating on him a little bit. Parker. I don't know that Parker. Uh, rookie card for uh, nobody. <laughs> so, yeah, nothing much in that. Let's bust this open. These have not turned out too good <laughs> for the first two. Ah, we got a Mets sticker. There we go. Let's go Mets. Oh. <laughs> uh, Kurt Gibson still say that Daryl Strawberry should have been the MVP in 1988 and they gave it to Gibson. I, I don't know why. And uh, still say Straw should have had it. Oh, is that? Uh, I think that might be uh, Biggio's second year. Dave Henderson. Ronnie Gant. Uh, he had a good begin to his career. Who we got here? Howard Johnson and Ryan Sandberg. Ah, the good old days of baseball. There's a Hojo. Eh, nothing much in that one. Let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and finish this one. And this one I got, well, we got a Mike Trout right on the front, so right off the bat. I don't know, you know, what card it is. I don't really know if it's got any value to it. I do know it's Mike Trout, and I'm a huge fan of Mike Trout. To me, he's he might be the best player uh, of this current generation, and I, I just love watching him play. And we got, uh, is that a 90? I think 90 Don Russ pack right there. Start off with uh, this Tops. All International Fair, Mike Trout, United States. International Affair, MT number. Uh, well, MT is the number on it. I had to look that up. I don't know what's going on with that, but it looks pretty cool. All right. Let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, old school top stadium club, Deion Sanders. Remember him playing football and baseball? Uh, on, actually, on the same day. There's anything good. Another Eric Davis. Uh, oh, Mike McFarlane. That's like Kurt Manwaring. That's, like, that's not who Kurt Manwaring is. 
Dennis Olcan Boyd. One of my friends that was his favorite player back in the day. Remember, he pulled a 1985 uh, Dennis Olcan Boyd. He was so happy and so excited about it. He was jumping around. It was hilarious. Ah, these were really hard to get back in the day. The, the All-Star cards from Fleer. That's pretty cool. What year is this? 89? 90? Uh, but definitely pull that aside. Not a bad card there. Jody Davis. Eli Murrow. Oops. Almost tripped the fail. These were some good cards. Top's finest from back in the day. Those are those are some hard to get cards. Really, really hard to get. I mean, it's only a common, but still, these these are very, very tough to find. Usually, commons on those were were a buck or two. I don't know if they still are or not, but I know for a long time they were very hard to get. Remember packs of them when they, we first got them. We had a baseball card shop. They were about um, six, seven dollars a pack. And I know in twenty in twenty nineteen, you know, your average packs are more than that. But back in the day, they were fifty cents, seventy five cent. Uh, about this time, they were probably about sixty cents a pack, seventy cents a pack, something like that. So yeah, Dennis Martinez, no hitter. Oh, perfect game. I remember when El Presidente did that. Tony Fernandez had a solid career. I wish they'd put these all straight in one. <laughs> Keith Smith. I love this card when it came out. Ricky Henderson showing him kind of stealing the base. Ah, that is awesome. That's a great card there. From the 1989 Upper Deck. Hey, there's a Edgar Martinez. That is... I can't remember what year his rookie card was. 88, I think. I think it's 1988. Hall of Famer, though. Uh, Jack McDowell. Mentioned him earlier. Buddy Biancalana. Let's see. Uh, John Mabry. Nah, meh. I uh, don't remember this kid. <laughs> Prince Fielder. Saw his dad earlier. Prince had a very solid career. Uh, too bad it ended prematurely by injuries. I thought he was going to be about a 400 home run guy. But four, well, I, was probably, I, I was thinking probably about a 500 home run guy. Uh, that's, this might be uh, McDowell's regular rookie card by Tops. Not his update. I don't know if he had an update or not. Uh, Matt Barnes rookie. Keith Hernandez with my New York Mets. Uh, Fernando Martinez. Don't remember him. Tony Perez. Remember him from the Big Red Machine. All right. The Big Red Machine was really before my time, but I really remember remember them playing back in the day. Now, all the great stories. Uh, who all was on that team? Uh, Johnny Bench. Tony Perez. Um, Joe Morgan. Ken Griffey Sr. Back then, he was just Ken Griffey, George Foster. It was just a, just pretty much at every position, you had a Hall of Famer. It was unbelievable. Chase Utley, Felix Fermin. Oh, let's turn these over this one. Let's see. This was a set I thought was just, just ugly. <laughs> uh, I just never liked this set. What was that, 91? I think this might be Series 2 from 91. I thought they were just ugly. <laughs> I did like these 85 Fleer, but I thought 84 Fleer was much, much better looking than those. Alright. Randy Reddy. Another Randy Reddy. Jim Presley, he had a solid little career there for a little bit. Henry Rodriguez. Hey, we got a hit. We have a hit. Now we just got to figure out who he is. <laughs> uh, David per Purse. I don't know. But uh, David Percy. But it is an autograph card. 
How about that? The other day I bought five of them. I had uh, two autographs. Uh, got three of them over here. Picked up an autograph. How about that? How about that? Not too shabby. Al Leiter. Remember his brother also pitched in the majors. Uh, Hideo Nomo. I remember when he first come up. He was a sensation. Uh, let's see. All right. Kitty. Fred Lynn. I remember when he hit a grand slam in the 1983 All-Star Game, I believe. Back when he played for the Red Sox. I, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, I think it was 83. Chuck Finley, uh, one of my favorite looking sets. I always, I always thought that leaf set looked really, really good. One of these days, I'm going to see if I can't find a box of the Series 2. Try to get me a uh, Frank Thomas rookie. Those leaf rookies were really, really good. Tom Browning, Darren Fletcher. Is it so complicated to put them all in the same direction? Uh, Sandy Alomar for the Indians when he was rookie of was he rookie I think he was rookie of the year. Who is this kid? Yeah, no idea who he is. All right, let's flip all these around. Goldschmidt, Paul Goldschmidt had a very very good career uh, with Arizona, now with St. Louis. Been a solid ball player for a long time. I think this is his second year card, I believe. Conklin. Comeback Kids. Uh, I was hoping there would be a rookie in there, but uh, nothing. Robin Ventura. Had a very good career. Very, very good hitter. I remember when he played baseball at Oklahoma State. Marquise Grissom. Is that with the Expos? Yes, that is with the Expos back when the Expos was a team. I must say, one thing I do like about these, even though I'm not getting anything any good, I do like seeing the, the old cards in it. 82, 80. Um, had an 81 in there. Then kind of out of nowhere, we got us an autograph card. Uh, Don Russ Elite is a draft pick. And it's numbered uh, 21 of 1,485. And yes, I still don't know who he is. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is, I believe this is 90 with the Carl Yastrzemski. I remember opening up these back in the day. Uh, these were definitely junk wax packs. Yep, 1990 packs. Uh, and, it, and it is leaving quite the stain on the back. Let's see if we can't get a Griffey, maybe. Hey, Juan Gonzalez rookie card. How about that? Uh, I believe they had an era of this card which was the reverse camera angle, which made it look like he was batting left-handed. I'm pretty sure they had an error on that card. So that's not too shabby. Lee Mazzilli. I always like these MVP cards. thought those were kind of cool. Dan Quisenberry. I loved watching him pitch. Uh, him and Kent Tocolvi back in the day. They had that side-winding, kind of underarm style pitching. Loved watching those two guys. Uh, I don't know, Quisenberry to Colby. I think I might have liked to Colby slightly more, but uh, I remember Quisenberry the most when he played with the Royals back in the day. Danny Darwin, Jeffrey, one flap down Leonard. They called him that because when he hit a home run, he would kind of have the one arm down, almost like he's flying and turning in the, around the bases. <laughs> Ellis Burks, is that his rookie? No, not his rookie. Tony Gwynn, and that's the one with the stain on the back. Tony Gwynn, definitely one of my all-time favorites. But, you know, before I bust into that one, uh, Gonzalez rookie's probably yeah, maybe a dollar. But to me, 
it's worth more than that just because and anytime i can get a mike trout i'm a happy camper all right let's see uh, i think that you can get autographs in these but in these boxes it's going to be very very rare uh, look for relics and autographs. I know I said that backwards. <laughs> look for autographs and relics. <laughs> it's funny, as soon as I said that, I was like, nope, that's backwards. I can read. All right. Well, looks like I should have opened it from the bottom. Uh, when I went in there and grabbed one, I just, I just pulled the very first one. I didn't look this, you know, or anything. I just grabbed the very first one. So this is series one. Um, series two has the uh, Alonzo rookie, which is the one I'm personally looking for. I know most people they want the uh, Guerrero rookie or the Tatis, Tatis Jr. But me, I'm a Mets fan, so. So I can't get that in, in the series, but still. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, so Romano, Charlie Blackman. Blackman's been around a long time. Jake Bowers, Underwood, Jansen, Birdie, Birdie rookie card. Let's see, let's turn all these around. All right, let's turn all these around. Tim Anderson, Trey Turner is having a, a good year. Adam Jones, he was so good for a while and he's kind of kind of lost his way. Oh, that was my knee. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Sean Doolittle uh, from the University of Virginia. I'm a diehard Cavalier. Jose Ramirez. Luke Weaver, Jeff McNeil's having a very good year for the Mets and a rookie card. Let's see. Series one rookie card, Jeff McNeil. Last I saw, I think he was hitting around 320. David Price, very, very good pitcher. Uh, former Seattle, I do like these cards. Atlanta. Um, I think that. I think they're tearing down the stadium in Atlanta. Let's see here. Let's turn all these around. Uh, Chapman, who can kind of lob a ball at 100 miles an hour. There's Fenway Park. Dansby Swanson. Jose Abreu. All right, 50 greatest moments. Ah, the Fisk home run in the 70, gosh, my mind, I want to say 75 World Series. Yep, 75, uh, was that the World Series? Was that the, yeah, in the 75 World Series uh, against the Reds. Ah, the, the Grome, Chrome card, Refractor. All right, there we go. Got my Met. I'm a happy camper again. That's a two-time happy camper award for me. Gold Schmidt. All right, so that's not too shabby. Colber. Uh, I, was, I was thinking that was a rookie. It's not. Sato. This young man is having a great year. I thought he was older than he is. My brother was like, no, nah, he's only about 20. He said, are you kidding me? That's insane because he is... That's a big dude. I was at the Mets game. Uh, DeGrom threw one inside and it hit him. Uh, it looked like it hurt too. <laughs> uh, next at bat, Sato took him deep. Christian Yelich, MVP. Might be MVP again, even though he's hurt and out for the rest of the season. Jay Bruce. I'm not sure who he's with this right now. Let's see. Uh, come on, Tops. D.D. Gregorius. I uh, had him on my fantasy league last year. Did really good for me until he got hurt. Aaron Nola. And 
looks like that's going to be about it. Who is that? All right. And you get two special cards. And we got um, Matt Duffy and George Polanco. Or is that Jorge Polanco? So, and you get those. Those are just the special cards for, um, for getting them at Walgreens. Uh, I see it actually says something on the back, but it does not. So, there we go. That is my haul of cards over here. Let's see what the good ones were. Well, at least decent ones. Uh, a couple of DeGromes over here. What year is this? 80. Yes, uh, I think that's uh, 18, 19. That's not too shabby for me being a Mets fan. Got the, the Trout. The Gonzalez rookie, uh, an autograph of somebody that very few people probably heard of. And I don't think that's an autograph. I'm pretty sure that's not an autograph. I'll look that up and see if the, nah, I'm pretty sure that's not an autograph. But it looks cool. It looks cool. But that's all I got. Um, had fun opening them. I've got more stuff that I'll be opening up uh, in the next little bit. Actually, I think I have a couple more of these with a couple more other kind of Walgreens Fairfield packs because again um, there's no LCS where I'm at probably not for probably a hundred plus miles away which really stinks really really stinks but uh, that's all I got and you guys have an incredible day